Hey, I'm Bill Donahue, and this is Henry Cloud. This is John Townsend, and you know what? I feel like I'm, we're, we're talking to fellow leaders here, you small group leaders, because that's the world we live in. We lead and guide groups, and we try to help people grow. And we're in groups. We're in groups. We lead groups. We, we believe in what you're doing. We think you're the heartbeat of your church. And we feel your you pain. Yeah, we do feel your pain. <laughs> Leading a small group is a really, really tough job. Whether it's your first time or you've been doing it a long time, you sit in a circle and you start this thing out and you're sitting there hoping something you, good that happens. That it works because yeah. you feel this burden. You feel like, gosh, they've given me some people to and help And I'm the guide. leader and I'm supposed to make and, this work. Am I even any better? Or, yeah, exactly. Plus, if you had that experience where you got some training already mm -hmm. and then you go in a group and nobody knows what a group is but you, so you've got to lead the curriculum mm -hmm. and you've got to tell these people, by the way, here's how you talk to each other, here's how you yeah, open up right. to other and you're trying to teach a Bible verse at the same time, it's it's a lot of work. How many well, times have you wished that they had gotten what you got, right. that kind yeah. of process? And everybody's on the same page and that's really what this resource, Regroup, is all about. So instead of creating a resource that once again trains small group leaders, what we decided to do was to create a resource that trained a group to be a group. So what you as a leader can do is take this product into your group mm -hmm. and just invite us to take the first four meetings and help you help your group become a group. And we're gonna walk them through becoming a safe place, right. getting to know each other, establishing the purpose of their group. What Setting some ground rules. The ground how rules. How functions together, yeah. We're gonna help them know what a group is supposed to do and how they can be that group and it's going to help take some of that load off of your shoulders. Yeah, how would you like to spread out the ownership of the outcomes and success yeah, of that group exactly. to your group and not just to you? So we'll show you, some, you know, we'll give you some teaching, we'll show you some small group drama so you can actually see a group in action and get a snapshot of, hey, I see how that works and maybe we can apply that in our group. And then some processes, some practices you can do together as a group. We'll give your group, your group the tools, not just you, to help guide them into a successful group. We're going to give you some research proven techniques and principles that really make a group do two things. One, become a group that, that is a solidified group that hangs together and people want to be there mm -hmm. and they keep coming back and good things happen. Sure. And secondly, that actually at the end of the group or further down the road would say that they've had a valuable group experience. So whatever group you're in or involved in or creating, if it's a, a small group or a family group or a singles group or a Bible study or parenting group, group, parenting group, Whatever curriculum you want to have, this is going to fit that as you, can, as you change over the years of your whole group life. This is mainly so you'll know how to help your people do group with you. We really look forward to hanging out together with you and doing group with you.